I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, September 2014. Express Entry? Solution to Canada's Immigration Future? Canada plans to roll out a new Express Entry program starting from January 2015 in an effort to improve the process of selecting economic immigrants who want to come to Canada. The Canadian government has promised several benefits under the new program. However, there is little information on how this new program will actually work. The Express Entry program aims to encourage foreign nationals to apply for permanent residence in Canada under a new scheme that will match their skills with those required by Canadian employers. The interested foreign national can make an online application through which they can promote their qualifications to potential employers. This process will help recruiters gain access to information from the foreign national's resumes and skill sets. The recruiter can then select an appropriate candidate and support that candidate's application for permanent residence in Canada. Once an applicant is selected by an employer, his or her ranking will rise, thus increasing his or her chances of receiving an invitation to apply for permanent residence. Upon receiving such an invitation, the applicant would have a certain time frame to actually apply for permanent residence. There is a key difference between the Express Entry Program and the current program. The current program follows more of a first-in-line approach to immigration processing, whereas under the new program, foreign nationals will be invited to apply for permanent residence only when they have proven that they have a ranking that is high enough to meet the requirements for selection. The process of self-promotion is vital under the new program to enable an applicant to achieve a certain ranking. But this program makes many assumptions, including that employers would be willing to use the new system as a recruiting tool. According to the Canadian government, under the new program, applications for Canadian permanent residence will be processed within six months, thus allowing for a faster entry of a skilled foreign national into Canada. But there is a lack of information on how much time the application stage might actually take. The program, therefore, could significantly limit the number of temporary foreign workers entering Canada by increasing the number of permanent residents to Canada through a process that is geared towards targeted recruitment. It, therefore, can address critical labor shortages by putting the recruiters directly in touch with potential workers abroad. However, the program makes two assumptions. First, that employers will embrace the process and invest time and money and wait six months to employ someone that they don't really know. And second, it assumes that foreign nationals who want to work in Canada will also want to become permanent residents of Canada. While there may be certain employers with long-term needs that justify waiting for six months to fill a vacancy, the processing time of six months may not be practical as the job market could change significantly during this period. Moreover, supporting an applicant's permanent residence to Canada might not be something that recruiters would be comfortable with. Many companies operating in a global environment need to hire quickly and cannot wait six months in time to complete a hiring. The benefits of the new Express Entry program seem to be limited and could prove less valuable to major employers than the government is intending. In addition, the new program presumes that all foreign nationals will want to apply for permanent residence in Canada, which may not be true for everyone. In the current labor market, many employees want flexibility in terms of the ability to travel and work in new places.
and they would prefer to have temporary work permits to avoid the expense and the permanency of a permanent resident status. Most recruiters are using internet-based recruiting agencies to fill vacancies and they have depended on the flexibility offered by the temporary foreign worker program to hire workers within a short time frame. It is therefore difficult to say how successful the express entry program might become even though it aims to make the process far more simplified for immigration and the skilled labor it brings to Canada. My commentary. The complexities of Canada's recruitment industry are far removed from policymakers in the Department of Citizenship and Immigration. It is evident that civil servants in the department underestimate the dynamics of Canada's recruitment industry. Yet, bureaucrats are being given overly wide latitude to copy existing programs in New Zealand and elsewhere, which has a labor market the size of Alberta on a landmass of less than half. It is time that Canada recruits the necessary expertise to devise its own unique programs that are designed for our own needs. Until then, our skilled worker policies and programs will continue to underperform. Source, CanadianLawyerMag.com